Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Man United career mode. Um, the reason we sound like this is because my audio, I forgot to configure it of sorts. So my capture card was recording instead of my actual mic. But here we are, Villarreal, Man United, Champions League group stage. These two have very big history in the last couple of months as Villarreal beat Man United to the Europa League title in penalties. Um, quick look at our team. Alanga, Schick, Sancho, Fernandez, Pogba, McTominay, Tellers, Maguire, Lindelof, De Loda, Hea. Good team. I think we could beat Villarreal with this. Sorry for the rushed intro, but I spent the last 30 minutes recording a video where there's no audio. So I'm a bit annoyed, but let's get this underway. I'm hoping this to be a very impactful game. Scott McTominay, Paul Pogba, and just a little thing for the manager as well. I had a sit down with all the men who have their contracts expiring, like all the major players. So Paul Pogba, Jesse Lingard, um, Juan Mata, Edison Cavani, all those players. I have two maybes for contract renewals, one most likely not, and one definitely not. The definitely not is, unfortunately, one matter. So this will be his last season as a Man United player. Sancho has made a brilliant run, whips it in, but Sancho keeps the ball. Um, yeah, matter just feels like it's time for a new adventure. But Tommy, oh, just wide. Uh, the most likely not is um, Edison Cavani. He'll consider it if we get top four, but right now it's he's not fully confident and you feel like it's time for him to kind of be a bit more free with his like how he wants to play football so that's going to be something we're talking about Pogba would love to talk about his contract situation in January as he's just enjoyed his football at the moment as we see here Sancho whips it in to the back post of Langa the defender really did a good job there to, like, disproportionalise Alanga there with the run. And it is a goal kick. Uh, the other maybe is Jesse Lingard. He enjoys his he enjoys put, playing at Man United, but the football he is getting is simply not enough for him to stay. Alanga on the ball. Tries to get past Raul Albiol. Not a very easy defender to get past there. Delolo though, with a great interception. Pogba tries to get it to Sancho. He does this time. Sancho to Pogba. Bruno to Schick. Schick's trying it. Coquelin, though, doing a defender's job. Where is their defence? Pogba. Oh, Pogba's trying it. Schick tried for a bicycle kick, but Asenjo just risked it all, and it is still nil-nil. But Maguire tries to go for it there. Al Kashir. These are going to be attacking from this side. Parejo to Al Kashir. Maguire with the interception. Maguire again with the interception. Maguire again with the interception. Three successful tackles. Two of them just went back to their players. Patrick Schick sees a great ball from Sancho. Sancho tries it. And it's wide. He shot with his left foot. It is probably my fault there. Was it his left foot? It was. I brought him onto his wrong foot there. And it is wide for a Man United goal kick. As you see Lingard and Fred disappointed in that shot there. But this shows that we have the potential to win this game. Coquelin. To Barejo. Over to Estupinan. Malinowski. Lindelof tries to block it early. And it is out. It's a penalty if the ball's out. Ref. The ball's out before you called it. Lindelof's getting a talking to him, But ref, the ball was out before he called it. He ran in. Oh my god. It should have been a penalty. But the ball was out before he called it. So. Controversy. But. Moreno's going to take it, and he's going this way. Damn it! It's Villarreal 1, Man United 0. 
Went the wrong way. It's just hard to guess with this game. And it is Villarreal 1, May 9th 0. And I'll be honest, that was a very tasty goal. Side netting. Top corner. Clinical finishing. Villarreal 1, May 9th 0, even though we should be in the lead, but we just had bad luck. So, let's uh, turn our look around, shall we? Not like that. As it is Malinovsky to Paco Alcacier. Over to Poado, who I think that might have been a handball, but we don't have handballs turned on. And Malinovsky! What is De Gea doing? That was the lamest excuse for a save I've ever seen from a goalkeeper. I just want to look again at if they handballed it or if it was just above their sleeve. We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Was it a handball? Um, he's carrying the ball in his armpit, but you see, it does touch his arm past his sleeve, so it should be a handball. But we have not been given it. And De Gea with a terrible save is now 2-0 to Villarreal. After this game, he's just trying to cheat us out of this win. That was the poorest excuse from David De Gea. He should have saved that. But his foot decided to turn in. So it is Man United 0, Villarreal 2. After 3 minutes. Oh, I've just turned that wrong. And it is Poado. Lindelof marking Poado. Gonna go for a tackle. Not a penalty, even though that one was kind of worse. Coquelin. Oh, Diogo Delo. Great inception. Sorry, great tackle. Schick. Oh my god! Lindelof. McTominay. Lind oh my god. Moreno. Akashere. Maguire. Thank you for doing some good defending for once. Over to Sancho. Can Sancho keep the ball down? I think that might have touched Sancho's arm, but it does not seem like we have handballs. Paul Pogba. Anthony Alanga! And he's just wide in a post. What the hell? And Lindelof gets a yellow card. For what? Show me what for. Come on. Show me what for. There's no advantage for that, so... They didn't do advantage plays, so you can't give him a yellow card. Oh my god, this game. This game sometimes just really wants to piss me off. Come on, Delo, get the ball. Nice. Pogba. Run. To Bruno Fernandes. Jen Sancho. Over to Diogo Delo, who gets it into Patrick Schick. What the hell? Bruno Fernandes. Oh my god. We just can't score against them. This is the poorest excuse of a Man United attack I have seen. We should be drawing with them right now. Tellez, nice inception. We don't have much time left, we have to go. And it is Schick to Bruno Fernandes to Pop. And it. Ref! We were attacking. Ref. It's my United nil with the round two, but we're on the attack. What are you doing? <sighs> Fuck off. I'm keeping these players on, but making a change. I'm going to bring on Koulibaly later on for Lindelof because Lindelof has been dreadful. 
I just want to give him a bit of this second half to prove himself. Pogba, thank you very much. Delo to Sancho. Sancho gets past his man as Stupinan is a bitch. Parejo to Prado. Malinowski. Lindelof needs to get that positioning right. Fernandez to Fred. Paul Pogba. He sees there. Can I like get to it? It's a poor ball there for Bruno. That is his bad. Could have had more. And Maguire's just been muscled off by Al Cashier. Maguire keeping the position right, but De Gea gets the ball. And it is now Man United's turn to attack. Or is it? Because we'll probably get the ball taken off us in a second. Unless. And a stupid. Oh my god. It just goes back to them. What is this game? Dogo Dolo. Oh my. Straight back to them. I'm getting sick and tired of this game. And it's called a kick for them. Yeah, it's time. Lindelof has been dreadful this half. I wanted to dress Koulibaly, but he's coming on. Not Cavani. Koulibaly. Absolutely dreadful game from him. Alanga touching up the post. Fred hits it out. And Sancho trying to get the ball there. He's trying to recreate what he did last episode with that absolute beautiful attack, uh, alone counter attack. But here we go. Man United now can get on the counter. Alanga with the pace. See Schick. Can Patrick Schick score? Schick is through for his first Man United goal. Patrick Schick. Oh my god, thank you. That was a brilliant counter attack. We're finally back on track here. Just one more goal and we've equalised, ladies and gentlemen. The Man United fans looking very excited, but look at that ball from Alanga. Perfectly timed, given Schick just enough time to control it and then slot it absolutely top right. And it is Villarreal 2. And finally, Man United 1. We've finally scored. Let's go. Offside for Gerard Moreno. May I line play the offside trap there? As you see, beautiful. Harry Maguire now going to continue to play. Tell us straight to Fred. I've noticed this a lot, look. Look at all this room here. So I'm going to abuse this a lot. Fernandez to Fred. Fred seems a bit on his own here. To Schick. Schick turns his man. Patrick Schick! The saviour of Man United in the Champions League. Patrick Schick has gotten both goals. What a turn, what a goal. De Gea looking ecstatic there, but look at this. The knowledge to know where the defender and the goalkeeper are at the exact point and to be able to finish it like that, that is brilliant from Patrick Schick. And it is 2 2. And it is now a tie. We are now equal pegging and it's back to square one for both teams. Poado against Delo. Poado is offside. And it will be a substitution. Dan Juma coming on for Poado. But Delo will continue to play. Koulibaly over to Fred. Back to Koulibaly. Back to Pogba. Sees a run in the middle there. Over to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes cuts it back a little bit there. Harry Maguire over to Alex Telles. Telles Bruno Fernandes to Fred. To Paul Pogba. 
to Delo. Sancho brought in the left back. He brought him inverted there. Delo hits it. Fred! And it is a great save from Asensio. That was a great hit as well from the Brazilian, who's actually from Ghana. Oh, Paul Torres just gets his head to it before Fred. And Fernandez can get to the to it before Arcachere. He does. Bruno goes for it. Oh, and it's out. Bruno, obviously, tonight's captain. And he's now the new captain of Man United since we have stripped it off of Harry Maguire. As we just don't think he is the qualities of a Man United captain. Tell us. That burst of speed there is what he brings to the table as a left back. Bruno Fernandes to Patrick Schick. Patrick Schick has opened the space up there. Oh, the ball to Alango is right there. Oh, Fred, beautiful press there to Pogba. Ah, oh, Pogba did not see a stupid man, more like stupid bitch, in his way. Gerard Moreno. Cool of Barley tries it and Gerard Moreno. Has he done it? Has he got the winner? Fuck. We'll have to go for it. Alright. Our traditional 4-2-4. We'll swap a Langer. Fred. Keep Popper there. Bring Fred off for Cavani. Bring Pogba all the way up here. Bring Bruno all the way up here. Push them up. Push them up. Cut him inside. Keep him down here. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. We'll just keep it like that. Every player needs to be on this goal. That's why we brought off Fred for Cavani, our last change. We'd go for this, 100%. Ronaldo would be perfect for this, but Ronaldo is currently sat in his home at Manchester. A line on the ball to Cavani. Can Schick do it again for us? Can he equalise again? Koulibaly over to Delo. As you see, Villarreal have gone very defensive. Delo to Schick. Schick, has he found, has he found a gap? Patrick Schick, no! Asenjo with his feet saves it. It's whipped in now by Paul Pogba. And it's headed down. Sancho outside the box to Harry Maguire. Over to the side. Paul Pogba on the wide angle. Had probably the best chance of getting it in. Shit tries to get to it. Who's going to get to it first? It seems like Villarreal might go on the counter. Gerard Moreno. To La Celso, back to Moreno, back to La Celso. And it's Delo with a brilliant tackle. And on the counter attack, Man United go. Go, go, go. And the ref blows! When we're going on the attack! Oh man, this game's been against us this entire time. This game has been against us. All 90 minutes. And we've taken our first loss of the career mode to Villarreal. As it's Villarreal 3, Man United 2. Man, I'm so annoyed. Oh my god. Kicked it so well. Damn it! Mm. Come on. We should have lost that game. Ah, well, let's, we need to talk more about this today. We need to tell us about today's starting lineup. And CR7 is back in the squad. So will Luke Shawby. So will Koulibaly. And so is Raphael fucking Varane out for Lindelof. The world's going to be coming out for Masaka. Pogba's tired. There's no centre mid we could swap him out for. So we're going to have to go for Juan Mata 
and Jesse Lingard. After Sancho breaks, I'm going to put Rashford there. Where the hell is Rashford? There he is. Lindelof, I'm very disappointed in. But this is going to be our team against West Ham United. We need redemption, boys. Come on. Redemption is it. Uh, we're we're going to play Big uh, big Luke Shaw today. But you see there, Ronaldo has six goals. And I think we should play in that kit. They could play in that kit. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a very big game. West Ham United, we're a tired team against a pretty much fresh Man United lineup. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are at London Stadium. London Stadium, sorry. And there he is, the big man. The man who we are trying to get over 100 goals for. He's currently on 95 in the Premier League. Because before I left my United, it was on 89. And now, let's see if we can get him over 100 goals by January. Also, we're missing um, a very big player for us in Jaden Sancho. He's going to be having a rest here. A lot of the West Ham players are tired. So we might be able to use our attack to our advantage here. With Rashford, Alanga and Ronaldo having blistering pace at times. But there is the uh, pussy abuser, Kurt Zuma. Lying up next to Areola. But let's have a look, look at their lineup. Alphonse Areola with Kufal, Dawson, Zuma and Cresswell in defence. Thomas Soshek and Declan Rice. Bowen, Fernals, Ben Rama. But with Mikel Antonio line him up for David Moyes' West Ham United. Zuma is captain, really? Anyways, we're not on the Man United side. So let's get right into this highly anticipated game. For both sides, West Ham, Man United is underway now. Obviously, Moyes has kind of revolutionised West Ham this season. But McTominay gets it to Rashford. Like I said, they're tired. Rashford's going to take advantage. Oh, just the wrong way, Rashford. Your decision-making is dreadful this season. McTominay gets the ball. Lingard. Lingard scoring against his former club that he went alone at. Nearly. Player to watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> absolute madhouse he has been on. He's an absolute raging bulldog here. In the Premier League so far this season. It's whipped out wide. Jared Bowen gets on the ball. Just. And I do think Jared Bowen should be considered for the England World Cup squad. This year. He's been absolutely ecstatic. Along with James Ward-Prowse maybe. And McTominay gets the ball. That is why he's in CDM. Over to Juan Mata. Back to McTominay who sees Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes for the curl. Ariola, fingertip save, and it is out for a Man United corner. Let's take another angle at that. Ronaldo crosses his feet, and Ariola just couldn't get his hands on it there, and it is a save. Rashford going to take the corner. He's actually going to pass it short to Jesse Lingard, who's a fan favourite here at Newcastle United after a very successful loan spell. Run! Oh my God, that was. Close, but just no commitment there. Koulibaly to Antti Alanga. Alanga still looking for his first goal, I do believe. No one really available to Alanga. Lingard is. Lingard going across goal. Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo jumping to Rice there. Uh, we know Rice has really big respect for Paul Pogba, but Pogba is not going to be playing today. 
Popper has had a very tiresome run of games over the last couple of weeks and uh, we've decided to give a break of Varane heading it off McTominay and Varane played a bit of pinball with the football Mikel Antonio great save by David De Gea and I think I just saw Chelsea have gone 1-0 up against Tottenham Hotspur but an absolutely superb strike from Mikel Antonio is his corner kick now my United players marking the West Ham players. Suchek's available! And a great save from De Gea. McTominay gets the ball to Juan Mata. Juan Mata on the run here. Turns it back. Sees Ante Alanga. Alanga going to go down the wing. Craig Dawson trying to meet him. Oh, Dawson hits the ball out. Here's a throw in. Gives Man United a bit of time to get the players up the field now. Oh, to Luke Shaw, who gets it to Lingard. Tried to get it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo turns his man. Ronaldo! CR7 gets it in. Soo! It is his seventh goal in the Premier League. And it is a, another brilliant ball. Jesse Lee. Look at Ronaldo's movement there. He just circles round Zuma. Zuma does not know what he's doing. Ronaldo... Coming out of the shadows from behind Zuma. And you'll hear the fans support of their homegrown hero. Seven goals in four matches. Ronaldo's back to his old self. And you hear the away fans here today chanting, Viva Ronaldo! As Man United. A 1-0 up. Declan Rice back to Ben Rama. Jesse Lingard going to let wan take care of Mikel Antonio. And wan gets the ball. He is out for a corner. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's whipped in. And Kula Bali just gets the tip of his head on it. McTominay on the ball. Sees wan Mata. Mata's been absolutely great with his positioning. And Ronaldo to Jesse Lingard. Lingard sees Rashford at the back post nearly. I think he should have gone for Ronaldo there. That is a big mistake. That could have been a second for United already. Declan Rice over to Ben Rama. Declan Rice is down but advantage is played after West Ham retained possession. But it is now back to the hands of the men of Manchester. Oh. Jared Bowen down the wing here. Koulibaly fended off. Koulibaly goes in. Mikel Antonio, great save by De Gea. Mikel Antonio with a shot. That should have gone in. But De Gea, clinical save there. Ronaldo turning Zuma again. Ronaldo! And it's a save. One matter. One matter's got his first for Man United this season. The captain for today, Juan Mata, has scored again in the Premier League. And Ronaldo, after a brilliant strike, Ariola gets hand to it, but Mata is just there at the right time. Like I've said, Juan Mata's positioned in, in this game. The way he has positioned himself to get every ball and carry these balls and then get a goal now has been stellar. He could be our backup cam now. But that is one matter with a goal. Michel Antonio back to for now it's back to Michel Antonio. And Varane fighting Michel Antonio here for the ball. He does. One matter's on the ball now. Like I said, always willing to pick up those un, those uncontested balls there. Alanga tries to get past Dawson. Just too much speed there. He could not position himself in time. As he's back to Michel Antonio. Antonio to for now it's back to Antonio. To Thomas Shoshek. Bowen over to Kufal, back to Soshek, and McTominay with the defence. CDM versus CDM, and McTominay wins the bow. McTominay's passion for this club has been put on his sleeve every game he's been in. One matter to McTominay. Tries to get to Ronaldo. You see, the Man United midfielders know who to pass the ball to, because they'll always score, 
straight to the hands of the hair there. Scott McTominay to Jesse Lingard. Ronaldo's currently offside, but can he see another run here? Jesse Lingard on the ball. Lingard cuts it in. Lingard with a finesse! And Lingard's made it three. Man United are coming in with no bullshit this game. After the after Villarreal just sneaked to win in. And now Man United are here for vengeance. And just before half time, Lingard making a run from his own half. Just they open a massive gap there. Yet yeah, again, Matter and Ronaldo position themselves just right so Lingard can slide through. And it is another beautiful goal by the Manchester United 11. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is half time. Yeah, again, Man United dominance. Ronaldo has been an absolute handful indeed. He has just been dominating Kurt Zuma like he is breakfast. And it's Man United 3, West Ham 0 going into the break. Into the second half now, making no change, and I think this team will stick. It's been absolute, this has been a brilliant team to play against West Ham with. Just the attacking force we have available. It's been absolutely stellar. Alanga, a bit of an unknown here. Cause he's, he has been a bit sloppy. And it's a West Ham throw-in. Kufal gets it to Pablo Fanage. Dawson over to Kufal. Pablo Fanage down to Jared Bowen. Bowen has probably been their best player this game. Rice has tried to control the midfield. But it's been a bit tricky with Sushek always making those prog progressive ball runs. Rice over to Saeed Ben Rama. West Ham Queen looking for that goal that they need to knock Man United's confidence here, but just nothing there. Rashford down the wing. Sees Ronaldo. Ronaldo currently offside. Rashford on the wide. Craig Dawson gets it though. Rashford gets the ball back. Ronaldo running to try and see if he can help. But Rashford whips it in. And it is Sushek who gets the ball. And Pablo Fanaj gets it to Saeed Ben Rama. It looks like a counter attack could be on the way for West Ham. Wambasaka trying to cover the midfield as McTominay is trying to cover off the run. And it is Jared Bowen who has opened up the defence. And it is still in Bowen. I've, se I've been saying this. Jared Bowen has just opened up our defence there. The counter attack was beautiful. That was a great collective goal. But Jared Bowen, the man on the receiving end after De Gea just tried everything he could. Koulibaly just ran into the net because I thought it was out. So that is my bad. But Jared Bowen, clinical finishing. It is now 3-1. And my United's confidence has been deterred slightly. Jared Bowen, absolutely. I think he has a shout for being in the England team for the 2022 World Cup. McLaren Antonio to Pablo Fanales. It seems like West Ham have really come out of the gate strong here. Moran keeping it solid over to McTominay. Back to Mata. Oh, Jesse Lingard. Lingard. Back over to Juan Masaka. Can you see the run from Ronaldo? Ronaldo, can he get the ball? No, Kurt Zuma. Seems to have adapted better to the play of Ronaldo. Ronaldo tries to get past Craig Dawson. Seems like Ronaldo against the centre backs here. Mata on the ball. Mata has been taken down. No free kick. Cresswell. Rashford gets the ball. Sees Ronaldo in the box. But he's going to Alanga. And it's Alanga's first goal. Anthony Alanga has got it in. Runs over to Rashford. Trying to hook Rashford. And I think they do. But Rashford. Just. Doing the right thing there. Alanga heads it in. And that's Alanga's first goal, I believe. For in a Manchester United shirt. 
a senior level. Alanga finally making a statement in a Manchester United shirt, the number 36. Rhythm is a dancer, Anthony Ilanga. Rhythm has been a dancer and that head has been the piano playing the rhythm. As Anthony Ilanga has finally scored his first goal in a Man United shirt. Pablo Fadalge to Michel Antonio, to Pablo Fernandes. A great save by the hair once again. And it is a corner kick for West Ham United. Pablo Fernandes is coming off for Manuel Lanzini. David Moyes, former Man United manager for nine months before getting sacked. So he could be looking for vengeance against his former employer, but Zuma just absolutely skies it. There we go. De Gea are going to play it short to Varane. No one marking Varane there, so why not? One matter. Sees Ronaldo open. Ronaldo going to go for a run here. Sees Alanga open. Actually, Alanga! Jesse Lingard gets the ball. Runs over. Runs it wide. Can Ronaldo get his head on it? McTominay gets his head on that one. Luke Shaw's going to go there. He's going to go to the wide open space. Ronaldo trying to look for some support. For Luke Shaw there. Alanga very much offside. He's going to have to pass it to Scott McTominay. Ronaldo staying wide. To Jesse Lingard. Lingard sees the run from Aaron Wambasaka. Wambasaka now. Sees the ball. Ronaldo! Off the post! Moran though gets the ball back to Scott McTominay. This is just this is just typical Man United this. This is how Man United perform when they're at their best. It's whipped in again, but nothing happens of it. McTominay to Lingard to Rashford, who's in! Ariola with a great save. Man United have just dominated West Ham these last ten minutes. And it seems like Man United are looking for a fresh set of feet in the midfield position, and it is Fred. Rafael Varane trying to get his hand on it. Anthony Alanga. Alanga whipping it in. Oof. Come on. Ariola whacks it up. Ronaldo going to get his big noggin on it. Ronaldo has had some very impressive displays of aerial threat. Jumping nearly three metres high. Two and a half metres to be correct. Ronaldo turns Craig Dawson, but Dawson just gets his foot on the ball. Ronaldo seems injured. Ronaldo's on the floor in pain. And it is an injury. Ronaldo screaming in pain. Not what we need from our star man. Everyone's favourite CR7 is on the floor. And he's still on the floor in pain. I think that might be his ACL. The referee calling the stretcher on. The stretcher bearers have to come on the field. Ronaldo's ACL must have been torn. And it seems like Cavani will see out these last couple of seconds. Ronaldo is now injured. What the hell? Craig Dawson just murdered him. I think that might be an ACL or MCL talk tear there. And that's got to be the end of the game. Oh no, no, no. It's a win, but at what cost? Ronaldo is really injured. I think this might be Ronaldo's first major injury in over 10 years. Oh no. I hope it's not bad, but it is bad enough that he has to get carried off on a stretcher and Man United defeat West Ham. Four goals to one, and that puts Man United on 11 points. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I don't know if you saw, but Ronaldo is out for up to seven months. He's out until the end of the season. He tore his ACL. That's got to be an ACL tear. No! No, no, no. Oh my god, no! It is! It's gotta be an ACL tear. It is an ACL tear! It is an ACL injury and Ronaldo down for seven months! No! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, fuck! No, no! I can't believe this! That could be the injury to end Ronaldo. Also, we've heard about all these injuries that come to these players when they're about just past their prime and it has ruined them. This could be it for him. This could be Ronaldo's injury to end it all. Shit. For God's sake. I'm going to play the Danic ball. I'm going to do that. I'm sort to of put matter right here. I'm going to bring the Dan a bit more in. Just for this game against Bristol, and then I think we're going to call the episode there. But, ladies and gentlemen, our star player, CR7, has been taken from us by Craig Dawson. And we win. No, no, no. So it's got to be Schick and Cavani until April. <sighs> well, we're tied with Chelsea. But we have Schick for the end of the season. Ronaldo will play the last six games of the season, I think. That's going to be terrible for our team. Let's just quickly get our first team back out there against Aston Villa for next episode. So... Um, I can only see one way this ending and I don't think we would have won the Premier League without Ronaldo unless Patrick Schick steps the fuck up this is his time to prove he is the number one striker but Ronaldo's going to deteriorate massively now an ACL injury But ladies and gentlemen, that is where we are going to end it. And uh, I have now got the perfect title for this episode. Ronaldo's fatal... Ronaldo's career-ended injury. 
But we'll find out if it does end his career because we've heard about injuries that people do not come back from. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. But make sure to like and subscribe before you go. Because I'm watching you all. I know what you're doing. If you don't do it, I'll tickle you at 4 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want that to happen, I'll see you all later.